this is Brendel and today we are going to be looking at our debt review for August. And I noticed this quote over here and I thought it was super relevant when we're going talking about debt and really focusing on taking a look at what you've accomplished and being proud of that. Now I'm excited to show you what we did for August. So let me start off by labeling this. So we have debt review and we're gonna list our debts to this side here. And in our previous debt reviews, we had four debts. We now only have three we did pay off the truck in July. So now we only have the motorcycle loan, my braces, and our wrap four. And this will be our starting balance. This will be our minimum, any extra that we put towards the loans, and then our ending. I'm gonna flip this. Okay, so our starting balance on our motorcycle was, oh, let me get the different color. The starting balance on our motorcycle was $6,771.94. The starting balance of the braces account is $3,156. And our RAV4 had a starting balance of $22,224. Which brought us with a total of $32,152.23 in debt. And then for our minimums, we have a minimum of $200 to the motorcycle, which isn't actually the minimum, but is fairly close, and I just round up. And the extra that we were able to put towards the motorcycle for August was $600. The minimum for my braces is $189. And then the minimum for the wrap for is $420, which is also just under, but I round up for those. So if we add up our minimums, that means at the bare minimum, we are putting $809 to debt each month and in August we were able to put an extra 600 we only apply that to our motorcycle payment so that means our motorcycle ending balance dipped under 6,000 so we have $5,996 the braces, which does not have any interest on it, that has an ending balance of $2,967. And lastly, the RAV4 has a ending balance of $21,886.90, which gives us a ending total debt balance of $30,850.20. Very close to dipping under 30000 there. So next we're going to list our progress. And we're going to go over our monthly progress first. 
So we have a starting balance, an ending balance, and then the dollar progress. And then we're also going to calculate how much of our starting balance we paid percentage wise. And then next we're going to go over our overall progress, which we will have our beginning debt balance as of the beginning of the year. And then we will have our ending balance for this month. We will again do a dollar progress and a percentage based on the balance that was at the beginning of the year. So first we will have our monthly starting balance, which is just this one right up here. And so we'll list it at $32,152.23. Our ending balance is $30,850.20. And I'll subtract the difference. $32,152.23 minus $30,850.20 gives us $1,302.03. And this is the amount that was actually applied to our principal. So we did put 809 and 600 out of our budget towards our debt, but some of that did end up going to interest. So we had actually put in $1,409 towards our debt, but only 1,300 of it had went to the principal. So that's why we calculate that. And I'm going to take this amount divided by our starting one to see the percentage progress that we were able to pay for the month. And then we will multiply that times 100 to get the actual percent. So we were able to pay 4.5% towards our debt. That's awesome. And then for our overall progress, we will look back to January. And I didn't record for January, but I was tracking it. So we will look at last month. I ended up renaming them. So last month's total was the starting total, which was $45,898.65. And then we'll put the ending balance here, which was $30,850.20. So that means as of, so that means so far this year, we have put $15,048.45 towards our debt. And then we're going to do the percentage. So we'll take this dollar amount that's gone towards the principal and we will divide it by the balance that was at the beginning of the year. And then multiply it times 100 to get the percent. And we put 32.79% towards our debt that we have paid off. So that's really close to a third. We've paid off one third of our debt. So that means it's been taken us eight months to pay off a third. So at the most, we should have it paid off in the next 16 months, which would put us at the end of next year. And I definitely think we'll be able to do that. And that's incredible because originally, I didn't think we would get this paid off until 2022. So if we can get it finished 
and have these paid off in 20 at the end of 2021 I will be so happy I really like showing you guys this progress it motivates me and i hope it motivates you guys let me know how you guys are doing on your debt payments whether you were able to put anything extra towards them if you paid any of them off please let me know i want to root you on so let me know in the comments and i will see you next time thank you bye